Your Excellency, sir. Next on stage is a narrative from Kenyatta University Royal Campus. Micheka Dan, a fourth year student from the School of Business, Finance and Accounts, and Felix Ocheng, a fourth year student in the School of Pure and Applied Sciences. They present a narrative that highlights the plight of students and the innovativeness and the creativity that they have to go through in order to cope with the challenging times in university. It is performed, directed by D. Carlos. Welcome, Kenyatta University. Speaker. But how do you feel being part of this university generation where ladies take 110 selfies, delete 70, edit 39, then post one with a caption, a random one, full of animal features, a dog's mouth, a yenas ears, and opaque emojis at appropriate places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you want to know my Instagram? It is during these university times that we met Annabelle. First day in university, first lecture, seated front row, just near the lecturer's pulpit. And he's super so stay to Anbela. Anbela. Now, Annabelle was this low-key ordinary lady who did her things ordinary. In fact, she was an average girl with average looks, average behavior. We didn't even notice that she was around. But this was until third year. It is! My friend, while all other ladies were dressing to kill, Annabelle dressed to resurrect all of us. While all of us were meeting in the library, doing assignments, borrowing encyclopedias, googling all night. Annabelle. She was never there. While all of us were busy, busy in the classrooms, trying to come up with all acrobatic styles to copy an exam, sliding down the chair back, mixing all the facial expressions that we are blessed with, scratching our heads, scratching our arms, scratching our stomach, scratching our... Watch out! Where were Tafuta to Annabelle? She was not there. Because Annabelle was never in school, she was never in the hostel, she was never in her father's house. Who was she with? Where was she? Annabelle was all over. Where? In the social media. Doing what? Annabelle Malindi. Annabelle Milarosa. Annabelle Madagascar. Annabelle Sarova. Annabelle Kuala Lumpa. Kuala Lumpa. Google. Did you know that Kuala Lumpa is an Asian name of a town in Malaysia? I thought you should know. And as if this was not enough. Just imagine Annabelle was paying us to do assignments, sit for her cut, attend a group discussion, and sign the class attendance list on her behalf. Two weeks to the main exam. While we were on our way home from the library, on the right hand side, we borrowed an encyclopedia, photocopied notes, and a Makenya. On the left hand side, an Infinix phone, borrowed calculator, and more Makenyas. Pip pip! Aye. Nisisi Kweli. But this was a BMW X6 KCM 009X 2016 model. Ah, pana. Pip, pip again. Hey. Two well-fed men some assaulted out of the car with eyewitness and glasses and tight-fitting trousers that depicted and commode himself. And the girl of the world. You know this special no bouncers who just look at you and get angry for no good reason then force you to look as if you're drunk before they use their huge hands to massage your head, to massage your shoulder, to massage your stomach, to massage your... Watch out, before we could even take off, they led us to the car. Uh, what? Say! Guess who was in the car? It was Annabel, Watare, Mutamu, our classmate. Now, Annabel in the car was looking extremely beautiful. Annabel was thinking money. Annabel was a business mogul. In fact, Annabel was a princess merchant. My friend, she was wearing these expensive tie high heels with a golden heel. 
Does her business cards. Believe it or not, Mr. President, Annabelle was a CEO. Hey. When a CEO of a fully registered company, Annabelle and Sisters Comfort and Escort Services Company Limited. One no. moment. Comfort Escort Services. Asante. And mark you, she was a student just like us. Annabelle then asked if we could join her to our workstation that same same night, a place where she was having a show at 12 midnight. Seriously? <laughs>
2020, in one week, in one month, Sisi, mm -hmm. Cabinet Secretary's salary. <laughs> in one year, Sisi, passport, Canada, Dubai. <laughs> now, this is when we found a corner. So search within ourselves and realized, as you can see, we are struggling students, both academically and financially. Therefore, this was a good idea of getting money. Though so it was wrong, it was unethical, it was illegal. So we had no option but to decline to sign the contract and head back to the VIP. Matthew, the show was still on. At exactly 11.45 p.m., a selected man was wheeled to the podium, shirtless and the face covered by a veil. And now at exactly 12 midnight, shh, shh, shh. Jaguar, if you continue touching your phone, as always, you will be spotted. You will be isolated. Your future will be grabbed and massaged before you are deported out of the venue immediately. Guess who? It was Annabelle Watare Mutamu, our classmate. As she walked towards the lights, she was preceded by the intoxicating smell of the almonds and rose perfume. She wore a leather choker that accentuated her long neck. Silver chains dangled from the choker, perfectly creating a link to her red corset bra, which gave her round bosom a perfect boost. She had a short leather miniskirt that leaves little to imagination. The thigh-high leather boots added length to her already long spot legs, giving her body a perfect pose. In Annabelle's hand was a leather whip. She looked at us, Looked at the VIP guests, then let out a loud whisper. Shall we begin? By all this time, all the men were standing up in a manner that only you, yes, especially you and JK, are thinking about. <laughs> the show had just begun. Yeah! And now we spread out the leather whip. Yeah! and got closer to the selected man. Yeah! Annabelle swung the leather whip in the air. Yeah! And then whipped the selected man. Yeah! Oh, this, this cry made Annabelle a little bit uncomfortable because to her it seemed familiar. So she hurriedly took off the veil. Mr. President, believe me or not, the selected man was Annabelle's uncle, her father's younger brother, Joseph. Annabelle, huh? is this the school fees I've been paying for your course? Huh? Is this the school trip? Huh? Is this the classwork project? Huh? Annabelle, is this the class group discussion you're telling me about? Huh? I must say I'm disappointed in you. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the regular subscribers was heard shouting from the back. We pay you to get practical on stage and you bring your family issues on stage and you expect us to go. We are not going! We are not going, but our show! Where is our money? Annabelle Lidani! Shazam! The next morning, Annabelle's face was all over in the social media and that is how it was noticed that she was a student at the university and she faced a social media criticism. Little did we know that Mr. Matiangi had started an impromptu investigation to curb exam cheating and you were found guilty of exam irregularity and misconduct, and you were served with a thousand academic day suspension of university. To restore sanity in town, Wine and Coach Ricochet Club was closed. Annabelle and Sisters Comfort and Escort Services Limited Company was disbanded, rendering Annabelle jobless. Now, this is the time when Annabelle got back to her senses and decided to chase her childhood dreams of being a journalist. And now the Kitu ni Kukachora. What is it? Kitu ni Kukachora. Bana buwani ini organization ni mesedia watu wengi sema vizuri. Kitu ni Kukachora. Correct. Okay. 
in, 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 in collaboration with the U.S. aid, approached Annabelle and helped her propel her dream of becoming a journalist. And this changed Annabelle's life completely. And by the way, yeah. Uncle Joseph is now newly married. And here we are, jobless. But using our talent to entertain the president of the state house for free. Uh, <laughs> as we wait for a thousand academic day suspension to expire. Mr. Mr. President, president. Jobless. Yes. Entertaining. You. For, for free. <laughs> Asante. Lakini bada ya hi, sisi, wewe, magi, dina, <laughs> a professor Klaus Derrick production performed by Felix Ocheng, Micheka Dan, from President, sorry, from Kenyatta University. Thank you, Kenyatta University Royal Campus, with your narrative. <clears throat> your Excellency, sir, next on stage is A Soul of Us in French, performed by Jansen Ambani from Lubinu Secondary School in Western Region. Uh, the verse is entitled La Sistine. The Soul of Us highlights the benefits of a curriculum that promotes the nurturing of the talents of every individual learner. Welcome, Your Excellency, sir. Après la naissance, on cherche la connaissance. Avec toute prudence et confiance, avec la patience, on trouve la chance. Mais sans la finance, chaque matin, je me lève. Après avoir fait mon rêve, la couverture de mon dos, je lève. Et comme un bon élève, Vers l'école, je me dépêche. En classe à 8 heures pile. Mais tout est difficile. Les matières ne sont pas faciles. L'histoire et les mathématiques. La religion et la physique, tout ça dans une seule tête. Quel système Toutes les questions on pose, on échoue sans connaître la cause. Nous n'avons pas de pause. Y a-t-il quelque chose qui se passe en cause Quoi faire, chers amis Ce système est compliqué. Qui va nous revendiquer de cette obscurité Nous n'avons pas de sécurité. Ah Voilà À l'horizon il faut traverser le pont. 